So after a 40 gig download, um, man, I swear these, some of these updates are just killers. Um, I saw that, uh, so the menu's different, a little different. The world map is on the right side here now. And, uh, I noticed there's a, maybe there was a marketplace before, but I never noticed it. Anyway, I noticed it now. And, uh, so there's, a uh, all kinds of cool stuff here to buy. <laughs> so I clicked on, like, on sale, see what's on sale. There's a Key West Airport now. Um, I, f I flew over the Keys, um... Already, Tokyo Narita Airport. Here's a new plane. Ultralight flying boat. Interesting. <coughs> that plane looks serious. Liberia, Chicago O'Hare. Switzerland mesh scenery. Odessa. Wow. Huh. Some other French ones. <coughs> Category living world aircraft is what I want. <clears throat> what do we got for aircraft? Ooh, Eurofighter. Typhoon. That's a beautiful plane. Ooh, F-15. Oh, 40 bucks. <laughs> That's uh, almost the price of the game. I, um... <clears throat> I get that like a lot of work probably went into it. Ooh, A-10. A-10, buddy. <laughs> Beautiful. A-4 Skyhawk. That's a pretty good price for the A-10, too. 15 bucks, not bad. You know, if you're into the A-10. I like the A-10. Does it have a gun on it? I don't see a cannon. Maybe they removed the cannon? G91. That looks like an old bird. Ooh. P40 Tomahawk. Ooh, a long easy, 18 bucks, Spitfire, 26, 27 bucks, hmm, well that's cool, living world, what's, what's here? Regional environment, North America, living world, Europe, living world, Asia, hmm. scenery, Fox Islands, Atlanta night enhanced scenery, huh. enhanced airport graphics scenery. Mauritius Island, New Zealand, Mesh, Seoul City, Summer, North, Winter, South, <coughs> hmm. <sighs> 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 
free. Oh wow. USA bundle free. Wonder how big that is. And so you have to download it like client side. United Kingdom and Ireland, France, Belgium. Or or does that give you the option to <clears throat> Okay, I wanna know how big it is. It doesn't uh Wish it would tell me how big it is. It's kind of important. It's <clears throat> a world update. Nordics, France, Belgium, Japan. I don't know, unless it tells me how big it is, I'm not get and download. What does that mean, get? I mean, you'd almost want the world updates to stream from the Microsoft servers because it must just, it must take up like quite a bit of hard drive space to, uh... anyway, so what were we going to do today? Uh, let's see. I was going to check out the uh, beaches, Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword from the uh, D-Day landings, Normandy, and uh, just fly over them. <coughs> so long here. And, uh, now I've heard that the satellite map, hello, there it goes. Okay, well, if you, if you zoom in too far, apparently the satellite map still goes away. I was uh, kind of led to believe that it would be able to be zoomed in as much as you needed to zoom it in. Oh, yeah, so this is where I want to go, but... <laughs> wow, really? Uh, 
I don't know. So, start here. And, uh, finish there. And, uh, fly. So, uh, I mostly use this sim for, uh, sightseeing, so expect me to do this in a rather gamey way. I'm not a proper flight sim enthusiast, at least I haven't been since, uh, flight sims started getting so complicated, um... Back in the days of the Commodore 64 128 computer, yeah, I played flight sims back then. They weren't that complicated. Now they are. <coughs> they... anyway. So let's get to it. Oh, the camera's still doing that thing. I, got, I don't know what's causing that. It's driving me crazy. Why can I not? I... What the hell, man? There, now look. Just a little bit, and I can control my plane. Engine not started. What are you talking about? Where's my airspeed indicator now? It keeps going down. Why? I've got my engine throttled up. Why do I seem to be losing airspeed? Did it say Control E for engine? What the? What in the world? If you start in the air, why would your engine be off? That was not before the update. I'm not sure I might have flown here already. I think I did in <coughs> about a year ago, maybe. what happened to the airspeed indicator. There's a vertical speed. Oh, it's clouds. It's a
chugging. I probably need to, uh, go into, uh, NVI NVIDIA GeForce Experience and, um, optimize the game again now that it's downloaded a new patch two smokestacks over there. It took a minute to come up. heck am I? What? I'm already... Hold on a second. I can't already... Did I already fly down the beach? That doesn't make any sense. Did it start me at my destination and that's why the engine died? Set as departure. Set as arrival. Custom departure, custom arrival. compass before there we go engine was off again what in the world I don't get it There's the compass in the upper left corner. Okay. But, uh... Airspeed indicator... Well, it gives me a figure, anyway. 204, I know that I need to stay under 250 at a certain altitude. Below a certain ceiling. I'm not sure what that ceiling was. Was it... 2,500 feet? I forget. Where's this? Where's my... Where is my cursor? There it is. Turn objectives off. Hello? my cursor. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to find. Where's my cursor? 
<laughs> Hello. Trying to. Uh, I can't find my cursor. So I can't move the VFR map, so I'll have to turn it off. <laughs> Crazy. Let's turn this back a bit. really zooms in now. Well, the camera's not slowing now when I try to control the plane. So that's good. See, I can control the plane now. I don't know what changed. I didn't change anything. Maybe the uh, update just had to kick in or something. I don't know. Pretend you're an allied fighter and just k -k 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 There's my cursor. Water looks good. Waves crashing on the, on the shore. I hear a jet, but I don't see it on the uh, BFR map.
so many people in the world <clears throat> and none of them are me unless you're of the belief that all of them are you oh are these are the cliffs at the uh, rangers up, cameras slowing again. Oh wow. Uh, is this point to Hawk? Right here. Oh man, I don't know why it's, it must be my controller. Yeah, those look like bunkers there. Uh, I mean... i get a better look at that. People have built homes on the beach? I mean, yeah, it's waterfront property, but is this one of the landing zones? It's got to be a stretch of land that where we didn't actually land, because I can't imagine people building homes where so many have died. Uh, I mean, except that maybe every inch of the earth is a place where so many have died, but I mean, it just seemed kind of morbid. But, I mean, the reason that uh, the soldiers died there was in order to uh, 
secure the liberty of the French from the Nazis, so... I guess that's another way of looking at it. Look at that. That's crazy. I'll, I'll be, uh, I can see why, uh, the Nazis would put artillery close to the beach. It's like high ground and then it oversees the not only the water but also the land to the north. Some surprising terrain here. I see I see better now what like the um a series of events like the uh, strategies, the tactical maneuvers um, that uh, they had to make on D-Day and, and the days following makes more sense to me now. I see also that scene from, uh, I think it was the longest day where there were two German fighters that they were able to scramble. Supposedly, I don't know if that's indeed true. And uh, the German fighters do it like a single strafing run. And uh, then he says something about, uh, and that's the uh, glorious moment of the Luftwaffe. Because then they've, their cannons are spent and all they can do is return to base. But there's like so much, there's so much ground to cover here. There's, there's no way that you could uh, really affect the, um, the scale of the uh, invasion with uh, two German fighters.
wondering what causes these cliffs, if it's just erosion and the land is just sloughing off into the water, or there's a tectonic plate here and it's pushing the land upwards out of the water. The uh, the rock, what sort of rock is found there in those cliffs? This is this is nuts. Just the the size of this. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, the amount of ground to cover. I mean, did the, I know there were certain areas, certain um, landing zones, beaches, I guess you called it, but, and some of them seem to stretch quite a distance across, but did they really have s troops stretched out across the whole zone or was that just like a window that they wanted to navigate within because if they really had to cover the width of those zones that's just a that would be a, just a tremendous amount of personnel to cover all of that. It's it's uh, it's staggering to me. So if let me just pause it for a second. So well now you can't see the map, but uh but if those beaches, those landing zones were just like windows where they went to the land and they just had to land within the um, west and east limits of those zones then if the Nazis had coastal guards down the whole stretch of the beach and the intel wasn't just targeting the places where the Nazi forces were known to be, then you would have like all of this coastline that you would have to, I mean, you'd be, you'd be fighting, fighting like laterally, trying to uh, connect with the other forces, I mean, even near the, even near the beach, it's just, God, it's, it's hard to imagine. It's just hard for me to imagine the scale of it. I mean, I've, seen, like, seen it in movies, you know, you see, like, just countless ships out in the water, but even even if you had the number of the ships, the number of ships that I've seen in movies in this water that I'm flying over, 
it, it wouldn't be enough to cover it. I don't, I don't feel like it would be enough to cover it. So there must have been like much more than they even portray in the movies. I, I don't know. I just the amount of fighting that they would have to do just to secure the whole the whole coast unless you know unless the nazis just retreated once the f the fighting got to be too much and just uh gave the the whole coastline into the hands of the allies you know, after their key defenses, after the key Nazi defenses on the coast crumbled? I, I don't know. It's just the amount of fighting that they would have to do east and west on the coastline just to connect with the other beach heads. I, I don't know. I, I haven't read enough about this to, to even comprehend it. I guess it's just uh, I'm I'm just blown away. I I I expected my flight to take a lot less time than it's taking, and I don't know why because on the map it it looks like it's a large area, but I guess I expected a plane to be able to cover it rather quickly, but. It's taking a lot longer than I thought, which kind of it uh, gives me a sense of the scale of this amphibious invasion. It's just I'm just blown away. See that? So that was, I think that was gold that we just passed. So that's where the UK landed. We're coming up on Juno, the Canadians, and Sword. like sewage. Is that sewage? Those uh, lines leaving the um, leaving the coast? I don't imagine it's like undertow. Does undertow always happen in the same place? Does it uh, does undertow carve a trench or is undertow caused by those sort of linear trenches?
So I think this is uh, coming up on Juno where the Canadians landed. There's a nice gradual beach. Mentioned trying to land there. Jeez. Those clouds are so natural looking that I, I find myself not even looking at them. Because they're as um, kind of like inconsequential as real clouds. You know what? I don't know if they looked more like storm clouds. So I forget if this is, I think this is sword. Look at those shadows the buildings are casting. Like the sun. When I'm headed east. The sun would be coming from the due south to cast those shadows. some elevation.
There's a jet up ahead. Oh wow, look at those rocks. I thought I saw a jet. No, let's uh, just uh, objective. Okay, so that's, uh, that's basically my intention. Stop doing that. Track. We're building right on the beach. Wait a second, is this Monaco? I thought Monaco was on the uh, southern coast of France, or east of there, maybe? I don't know. I meant to fly there. It's kind of like a big uh, location in the James Bond universe, and as I'm sure it is in the world, but... Uh, I think maybe you heard about it. Heard about it more in the um, 50s and 60s than in, than you do nowadays. Kind of like Miami used to be a bigger deal than it is now newly popular place not not a place where um, its popularity has kind of gotten to be um, expected I guess let's see alright I'm going to stop here Thanks for watching.